So Jesse, do you remember gas tank gauges? Why? What? Well, it's been years since I've driven a gas car, but I remember gas gauges, these super primitive gauges that told you how much gas was in your tank. Right. Gas gauges didn't tell you how much farther you could drive. They just told you roughly how much of a tank of gasoline you had left. Kind of stupid if you think about it. Much more valuable, in my opinion, is how much farther you can drive before you run out of fuel. But anyway, I digress. Or do I? You see, EVs also have gauges, but on EVs, they tell you your SOC or state of charge, how much is left in your battery. And the good EVs will tell you how much range that equates to. Giving the driver an accurate prediction of the number of miles or kilometers left is super important in an EV. Now, Tesla has always been pretty good at it. And now, supposedly, they're going to get even more accurate. According to Green the Only, which is that Tesla white hat hacker, he tweets, Wow, 2022.20.7 seems to go into insane details to improve range predictions. Even tire pressure is taken into account amongst many other extra variables just added. Also takes into account energy loss to phone charging and 12 volt accessories, air density, battery heating and cooling, etc. Now in 2018, Tesla added environmental factors to the range estimates. And earlier this year, Tesla added crosswind, headwind, humidity and ambient temperature to the estimator. But now that they're adding tire pressure, I think that the estimates are gonna be even better because mm. tire pressure makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's been interesting driving the Rivian on many of our trips. Uh, it, it has a very conservative range estimator. I have yet to get to a destination with less in the battery than it predicted mm. at the beginning of the trip. And you may argue that this is a good thing, but in some ways, I think it's not. I think not! If Rivian is always underestimating the range, then that means I could have driven further. And so I'm either charging too early or not driving as far as I could on a charge, basically limiting myself. I don't know, this might have to do with how you're driving because basically the Rivian has uh, the typical guessometer, which takes how you're driving and then extrapolates that out for the rest of your drive. Wait, is that the same as what Tesla does? No, so Tesla is a little bit different because they, they do two different things. When you look at the number of miles next to the little battery on the screen, that is called rated range. And okay. that means what is your state of charge and what they think is going to be the average uh, efficiency. Okay. And that's going to tell you that mileage. But then if you put in a destination, that's when the calculations come out and they figure out what they actually think you're going to get based on hills and going up and down. But mountains. not based on how I'm driving? Correct. Um, they're going to assume that you're driving fairly normally. Oh, but Rivian keeps adjusting it based on how I'm driving. Right. So it, it, it's good in some ways because, you know, if you're feeling punchy that day and you're kind of zooming around, it's going to update that mileage and say, hey, you're going to actually get there with less. Of course, if you put in a destination in a Tesla, it'll also tell you, you know, they, they have that awesome graph that shows you that you're like, you're using way too much and you're not going to make it. And they'll tell you well in, in advance. That's really interesting. So, I mean, I don't think a lot of us knew this, that uh, there's two different philosophies on how to do it. I don't know. Comment down below what you think is the better way to do a range estimate. Is it Tesla's way or like a guesstimator? Because the only problem with Rivian's way is that you could, you know, have a route that's going to take you on back roads and you're going to be driving really efficiently because you're driving slowly um, and your range estimate is going to be really high. Then you're going to hop on the highway and your range estimate is going to plummet and you're going to be like, oh, no, hmm. I'm not going to make it um, when you thought you were the whole time. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.